Hey there, folks. Chris Waters here, welcoming you to a special sponsored segment of our E3 show coverage. Joining me on the couch, I have Roy Liu from Lion Kong Interactive and Charles Young, the VP of Fuse Games. And Fuse is the name of this segment here because we are here to talk about a new console. Charles, tell us the name of this console. It's pretty exciting. Yeah, uh, as you may know that the Chinese console market has been banned for 14 years. Yeah. So probably most people know about the PlayStation, the Xbox, but... I'd say most people around here know about those yeah, two consoles. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the China, but that's, you cannot imagine that most of the Chinese people doesn't know about too much about the console games. So I think Fuse is not only a new brand for them, but also a new product for them. And the last year that Microsoft and Sony has entered the Chinese market officially, mm -hmm. but they didn't do much well for them. But so that's, I think that's a good chance for us to do a new product and new console for the Chinese audience. Because as you may know that back to the end of the 90s, the start of uh, the end of the 80s and the start of the 90s, that we Chinese market has like some kind of copycat of the Nintendo Entertainment System uh -huh. that was sold over 20 million units was shipped in Chinese market. Yeah, that is a copycat. But since that, since then, that we don't have uh, some kind of what we call official console has entered the Chinese market. Mm -hmm. So we think this is a big potential here. And now the government has released uh, the restrict. We can do that for the video game market. So yes. that's why we bring the Fuse F1 to the Chinese audience. It's I think a whole it's much, new opportunity, yeah. Yes, that's much cheaper, that much more may fit for the Chinese audience and Chinese players. And it's not that there aren't gamers in China. There yeah. are millions and millions of them, but yes. they're predominantly playing games on mobile devices, is that right? Yeah, that's right, that's right. That's because for the previous years, the mobile games and online games were so popular to the Chinese audience. But I think that's not because they don't play the console, big, the, the console games. The big problem is they don't know what the console game is. Because the console game was banned in there, yeah. we cannot get any news from the, the regular news channel. So that's why they don't know anything about the console game. So that's why we want to bring a real, because we know that we are players. We know that real games was on the console level. So that, that is why we want to do some kind of console version or console to the Chinese audience. All right, so you mentioned Xbox One, PlayStation 4, yeah. uh, you know, the Wii U, that's sort of our current generation of yeah. consoles. Yeah. Talk to us about how the Fuse F1 fits, you know, comparing with those in terms of technical specifications. Uh, what I want to say is we are not competitors for them. Uh -huh. That for the Chinese, because currently we want to focus on the Chinese market. This are the priority, this are the majority. Mm -hmm. And I think we are not competitors on this market. We are partners for the market. What do we want to try to do? As I said, we have a big uh, potential here. What do we want to do is uh, wake, wake it up. We want to activate this sleeping console market. Yeah. So maybe I think that PlayStation 4 and Xbox One was uh, like uh, some kind of uh, uh, high-end machine, high-end product for this, for this market. And yep. uh, what Fuse F1 wants to do is we are aiming the middle term of the market. We want to uh, bring some kind of product with as low as the low end uh, machine, just like Android Box or something like that. Uh -huh. But we provide the, the game, the, the, the console level game was as close as it can be to the high end games. So I think that's a good chance for the Chinese audience to uh, use a very low price to buy some kind of uh, console box that play the game that maybe they will get interested in them, then maybe they could become some kind of high-level players. Sure. So I think they could have their choice, whatever they play for the Fuse F1 or PlayStation 4 or Xbox One, they are all players. We are all players. Absolutely. And I think that's a, that's a great niche to try to fill. I mean, we don't really have a console like that. Yeah. You know, you got to go $300, 400 yeah. to get into console gaming these yeah. days. Yeah. Unless, you know, you're going back a few generations to yes. the Xbox 360 or something like that. Yeah, you're that's buying right. a used that's console, right? right? That's right. Uh, okay, so why, one, one technical question actually that came to mind. Uh, does it is it taking discs or is it connecting to the internet to download games? Sort of what's the format? Uh, we don't have any disc. We don't have any physical material for the package. Mm -hmm. That's all downloadable from from the internet. Great. Uh, yeah. uh, and you got the controller design here. It looks familiar. Looks yeah. like uh, the Xbox One controller. Yeah. You know, certainly a great controller that we're yeah. all enjoying here. Yeah, because uh, that's a big question for us because you know, 
as you as I said, that the uh, home market was banned for 14 years. Yeah, that's not a short for the audience, but also short for someone who has the experience to work in the console uh, video game market. Mm -hmm. So we really, really want to build something new, something totally different, something unique for the Chinese audience. But I think the first thing we want to do is try to make it it's as easier for the developers to bring their games to our platform. Yeah. So we don't want to create something totally different. We just want to make them feel familiar for this platform. So we want to bring, because we know that when you play console, it's not that you're playing the hardware, you are playing the games, you are playing the software. Mm -hmm. The more software, the more games you have, the more chance you can attract the Chinese audience. So that's why we want to try something more easier for developers. They can bring as much as much as, uh, as much as they can the games they want to put on our platform. Well, with the Chinese console market reopened and so yeah. many options coming to the market, uh, I wish you gentlemen the best of luck. Certainly seems like an exciting project, and uh, I hope it goes well. Because hey, more gamers is better for everybody, yes. right? Yep. Yes. yep. Thank you, Charles Roy, for coming on to talk about the Fuse F1 here at E3 2016.